Welcome students. Today we are going to discuss code beta contest problem part number 26 and 27. Start with the problem number one. The problem title is minimum tacos. Here is the problem statement. We are given n coins with values from 1 to n. The sequence number 1, 2, 3, 2, n. You have exactly one kind of each denomination you need to pay m tacos to the suba find the minimum number of coins using which you can pay the suba so we need to it's something like a kind change problem uh, we need to give change for m rupees by using sequence of coins one to n so we have to use one only one kind okay there is number of uh, coins to be used at a particular time is one for example you have one rupees means uh, one rupee can be used only one time okay two rupees mean two rupee can be used only one time okay here uh, there here, uh, time to say that we have a set of coins which is ranging from one to It is a number of coins appears only one time. Set of coins, different denominations available from the one time. Okay, so we need to make a change by using this coin. And uh, uh, such that uh, minimum number of coins should be used. Okay, here the input format, the input consists of two space separated integers, n, uh, that is number of coins, and m the calculus that you need to pay to this one constraints n and m ranging from 1 to 10,000 output format outputs to be a single value equal to the minimum number of coins required to pay the entire calculus to this one if it is impossible to pay this one with the hackers you have then print minus one if change cannot be uh, made means you have to print minus one here the value m value is 2 and we need to 2 means we have uh, 2 denominations 1 and 2 and we can make a change by using 2 and 1 so number of kinds of is 2 ok for example I have uh, 3 coins here the input is given as 3 and uh, change to make as 5 it is possible yes it is possible by using it don't take uh, don't select one two okay select with the largest value this is first denomination so when i separate uh, after selecting my three when I separate five minus three there is a five with three i get two then remaining value can be given by selecting two so the number of coins circuit is two okay for this example, we can't make the seven. So at the time, at the time we have to give minus one as a result. For this thing also, we can't make a change for four rupees. See here. Yes, it is possible. Okay, two kinds of. Now three plus one. It is possible. Why also possible but uh, 7 is not possible because we when you accumulate all this value uh, it, the result will be 6 1 you know but we are expecting to get a change for 7 rupees it's not possible the time it will result in minus one. minus 1 here the logic is uh, get uh, m value from the user and m value from the user and uh, iterate from n to 1 okay largest to smallest value select largest value in the n and separate with the m and try to get remaining value and the remaining value may be uh, used to make a change by selecting the n minus 1 okay largest value to smallest value okay first uh, we have uh, 1 to n you have to reduce number of coins muscle. Select from here. Just n minus one. 
is not able to make a change by using n minus 1 means select n minus 2. If it is possible, select otherwise don't no, no, select. You, you, can, you can go up to 1. Okay. So this is the logic behind this. So, this so the implementation is the header file. Inside the main function, get uh, declare the variable n and m and uh, read the n and m down there and make sum equal to m. Initially, m is a required sum. There is a no total amount that is given by the user that to make a change. There is n. There is total sum. Initially, the number of coins should be 0. There is total uh, count variable. As I already said, uh, start with the n and end with the 1. Every time just decrement i by 1. Okay. Just check the Coin that you selected, that is i that you selected, less than or equal to sum. If it is sum, less than or equal to sum means just uh, increment the count. If this is meant for uh, counting the number of coins required to make a change, then uh, after that uh, you, you, you have uh, made a change by using this i, i number now. So subtract with the sum number okay, to get a new value. This new sum. Every it is not every it is the new sum is checked whether we reach it zero. That is, sir, you have finished the change, giving the change or not. That is checked by uh, using the condition if sum equal to zero. If sum equal to zero means you, you finished the change, you finished in making the change. Okay, if sum equal to zero, just print the new number of coins. Okay, just come out of the loop. Okay, if you have made a change, means sum equal to zero, so it will not enter into the if condition. In some cases, you can't be able to make a change at that time. This uh, this sum, if sum equal to zero condition will never work in that situation. So if you are not able to make a change for a given value from one to n means uh, this condition will not work. So after completing the after uh, trying all the possibilities from n to one, it will come out of the loop and it checks if sum is not equal to zero. Absolutely, the sum will never become zero if you can't be able to make a change. At that time, it will print minus one. It's very simple problem. This can be very simple. This problem is coming at a greedy step. They are selecting optimal coin, no? maximum value of coin from this uh, list. So, one by one, to solve the entire problem. This problem is the example for. The problem can be solved by locally selecting the optimal option to solve the entire problem. This is a very concept. Next problem, mangoes. Okay. I read the problem statement. Who is a very rich guy? He has n bags of mangoes. Each bag contains a positive integer number of mangoes. A bag with i number i containing a of i mangoes. We decided that the time has come to sell the some of these bags. Okay, so he wished to sell these bags. Uh, when selling a bag, this is automatically selling the each mango inside the bag. While selling the bag, he automatically selling the each mango inside the bag. But he can't take the mangoes out of the bag and sell it separately to make this more interesting. With it ordered yet another extra condition. He wants the total number of sold mangoes to be divisible by 3. Okay, while well, selling the bag, we need to check total number whether the total number of uh, sold mangoes to be divisible by 3. So, you is wondering what is the maximum number of mangoes that can be sold? Help him calculate the number. Okay, so he has to say, so yes, man, uh, there is a uh, bag. Uh, at that particular time, uh, he is in a position to uh, uh, give the itself, sell the ba bag, mangoes with the bag itself. Uh, but the constant is the total number of, uh, if the, he was to pay, there is a sell mangoes means the total number of uh, sold mangoes to be divisible by 3. So, uh, the input format, uh, the first line contains an integer. Uh, n is ranging from 1 to 1000, the number of which is best of mangoes. The second end contains the numbers a 0 to a of n minus 1, where a of x is the number of mangoes in the bag. 
So, uh, constraint mentioned in the input format itself. Okay, here also. Output format in a single line, print the value. In a single line, print the largest total number of mangoes which can be found. For example, when you give a number of uh, mangoes, so there is a size of array is for this. You have to give four values. Okay. Two, one, two. Two, two, one, two. Okay. It's ten. Minutes. So the output will be six. Okay. So when I, I neglect uh, one from this array and sell six remaining six mangoes, so the six mangoes may be divisible with three mangoes. This the maximum mangoes, mangoes to be sold is six, not seven, because seven is not divisible by three. I just take this good uh, minimum number. Yeah, this is the answer. So the sum of mangoes is yes, if yes, remainder 3 uh, not equal to 0 means just then subtract those mangoes by which you can get uh, yes minus a of 5 remainder 3 equal to, equal to 0 and we have minus of yes of yes of yes, yes minus a of 5. Here the 7 s yes, is equal to 7 for this example just yes to a of 2 it is 6 which is 6 remainder 3 equal to 0. So, 6 and 7. So, so you can just select one element from this array and uh, you can solve this problem. Okay, here uh, I have input the header file and uh, using the space is useful for uh, reading, uh, useful for utilizing uh, for using uh, C and C out. Uh, here just uh, set n equal to maximum value from 10 10 to 710. N is used to get a size of an array and S is meant for getting the sum. M is mean mean for showing the temporary value of maximum value, maximum element in the array. And the F is mean mean for getting the uh, mango values. Okay, here it's the main function just to get the uh, user size of an array and for every Iteration get the uh, array values and immediately find the sum. The sum values after completing the iteration, the sum value is stored in the uh, That is yes. And check if yes remainder 3 equal to equal to 0. If it is 0 means uh, it will return uh, 0. And yes remainder 3 equal to 0. Mm -hmm. equal to 0. Uh, if of not zero is true, so if it is true, then just set the m equal to yes. The maximum number of uh, mangoes sold is yeah, yes. Then for i equal to one to n, if it is not okay. If it is not means for i equal to one equal to n. For i equal to one, i less than equal to n. I plus one. Just to take the remaining. Yes, that is one yes. Just to take. Uh, when there is a uh, first mango and uh, subtract with this one, think whether uh, it is divisible with 3. If it is divisible with 3, mean just find the main, uh, maximum value. Okay, this is max, already it is maximum value. Okay, this maximum value is compared with after removing the value. If the condition is not true, means this condition will work. Okay, here we are finding the maximum value among m and s minus a of i. Here, uh, first, for first iteration, first position is neglected to get whether we have reached a, uh, that is, uh, we have uh, we have a number which is divisible by after excluding the first So, just to find the maximum value, every time you removing the value from the array, there is a neglecting or avoiding the array here available from the array. Okay. So just uh, record that values and use a loop that is uh, from i equal to 1 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 to
For example, if atom 1 with value 56 and atom 2 with value 61 is fusion, they produce energy 3416 kJ which is 56 into 61. We just multiplying the uh, 56 with 61. Resulting atom will have an atomic value uh, 3416 modulo 193 equal to 33. Scientists created a nuclear reactor to create energy by this method. Every day they get several atoms of X from supplier in a particular sequence. Since this element is uh, highly radioactive, they, they can't risk by changing its sequence. So each of atom can fuse only with another atom nearby one day. Okay, this is the hint actually. It's each of atom can fuse uh, only with another item atom nearby one day. Nevertheless, scientists can choose order of fusion there by maximizing uh, total energy by the Now, for the given sequence of atomic values, output maximum energy that can be produced. If the sequence of atoms are 56, 61, and 2 means, they, then they can produce 3, 4, 1, 6 kJ by producing 56 and 61, which results from in an atom of value 33. Then they can fuse 33 and 2 to get energy 66 kJ. The total energy is uh, generated by the uh, generated is 3482. Okay, so only we are checking the adjacent values. Next, uh, uh, for if they cleverly choose, they choose to fuse some fuse the atoms, that is uh, 61 and 2 first. They can generate 122 uh, with the resulting atom of value of 122. Then they, they, if they force fuse a 122 56 means they can generate a 6832. So total energy 69554. So at every time we want to select the smallest value first and which is multiplied by the any number. Please understand that every time we have to select smallest number first and then uh, multiply the uh, another number, any other number. Okay. Uh, and also, uh, at the second iteration, you have to select the second smallest and uh, multiply by the particular number. So, in this way, we can select by to find the maximum of energy. Okay. The input format, the input, uh, the input start with the number specifying the number of inputs followed by input 
input uh, start with the number specific number of input followed by n space separate integers specifying atomic values of n atoms line 1 n where n is the number of atoms in sequence to be placed line 2 a1 up to n where a a suffices i atomic value of i data and the two atoms are sp space delimited that means a is ranging from 1 to 199 and the n n is ranging from 1 to 1000 how to form a fair print determinant of the input matrix it is uh, this is uh, that is the this is the error okay. so how to be the uh, maximum when well, maximum energy value that can be generated from the sequence okay here this is is the correct answer here you see in this stacking you see only the temperature for this example uh, rather than selecting 50 and 75 just select 3 and 50 box just uh, after selecting 15 you can get uh, you can multiply uh, 45 with 75 you get some answer and uh, uh, result in value after multiplying these values you will get uh, some result now which is not the basis you get the negative Machine days we have to select the minimum value which is multiplied by another number. For example, here I am holding a number pen and say main function. The best way to be able to receive set of elements of same type and is mean for this happen array. I J K is mean for uh, uh, indexing purpose. Minimum value is mean mean for storing the minimum value in the array. Minimum value which is available in the array is it? It is set as 200. Because uh, it does not the value when there is a uh, value which is given in the array which should not exist in the array as set in uh, constraint. See here. Okay, just to read uh, under the energy maximum energy potential story equal to initially it was set as zero. The maximum energy potential story equal to one. See, this is size of an array. n less than one and n greater than the ten thousand means just set invalid input. Okay, it should not exceed the upper bound of the boundary. For every iteration, just get array elements and check if it is less than one and greater than one eighty eight. This should be checked. If it is less than the R greater than one eighty eight means less than one and greater than one eighty eight means just set the flag equal to one. Flag equal to one, just set the invalid input. See here, just set the invalid input. Flag equal to one. Otherwise, just to find the minimum element in the array. Okay, by getting the input, just to find the minimum element in the array. Hmm? If this, uh, if a a of i less than uh, not less than one and a of i is not greater than one, it means f will not become one. So it will come come to this condition here until uh, array that is size uh, array element size of an array reaches one. We need to check every element and so uh, before you have identified new element, we should be multiplied by another number. No? Just uh, in array, just check a of i equal to minimum. If minimum uh, element which is uh, Found, which is identified from the array only. For the first time, the minimum element is found. If it is four, mean just check i equal to zero. If i equal to zero, mean just set j equal to one. Okay, first element that is yeah, that is your point process. If i equal to n minus one, mean just set uh, j equal to n minus one. Before element there is a uh, j element is say uh, j j value is a uh, index of the last one before last element. Okay. Just to uh, compare the element which is available in the i plus one and uh, i minus one. Now we are in ninth position. You, you have identified one smallest element. Okay. So you have identified one smallest element now, which is compared with the i plus one element. That is uh, before uh, comparing. Just uh, check i plus one element and i minus one element. Which one is greater? We have to select the greatest element now. So select grade element which is available in the i plus one and i minus one. So th those elements which should be multiplied by j here. So j is available here. So I have identified the smallest element, and 
this smallest element is multiplied by the element which is greater than uh, uh, a plus 1 or j, a minus 1 a of i minus 1 a i plus 1 a minus 1 before uh, multiplying the value with a of j a of i we need to check a of, a of i plus 1 greater than a of i minus 1 if it is so just record the index value and multiply the multiply with the uh, a of i finally you will get uh, energy and maximum energy which is added to the e, energy e. then after that uh, the result may be uh, greater than uh, 190 no this will be model uh, model raised so that is why we are using model of 199 okay so don't exceed 199 that is why we are doing that then just check i less than j i should not I less than k means just keep uh, uh, result is k equal to otherwise k equal to j. So if the total value, total value uh, after identifying total value which may exceed to 199 that is stored in t. Okay, this t value is recorded in the array itself. Okay, so after that uh, just uh, delete that particular element. For example, we have uh, we have uh, minimum element which is multiplied by some other element now. Uh, finally, you will get to one result now. That, is, that result is stored in the uh, a of uh, kth quotient. Okay, a of kth quotient. Uh, so, the, yeah, the t is stored, result is stored in the kth quotient. After that, uh, this uh, value is shifted. Okay, so you are reducing one element one by time. For example, uh, yeah, we have in, in the example, uh, we have uh, 3, 15 and 75 and 60. Okay, from this you have identified three similar element. This should be multiplied by uh, the number which is available in this list. Here I am selecting the two number uh, and checking which one is greatest. 75 is greater, no? And just say multiply 75, you will get some number. No? Uh, for example, for this number, you, you will get uh, 225. 225 this will be a model by using 190 you will get uh, 26 no? this 26 value is stored in this location this is location sorry this location you will get uh, sorry not this location this location we will get 15, 26, then 60. Okay. So next, uh, next is you have to check this. So after completing this process, you will get uh, after that you will get two elements only. So uh, the now size of the array should be reduced uh, reduced by one at every iteration. In this situation. See here. After uh, swapping the value, just reducing the size of the uh, one and setting the i value equal to a. Okay. So finally, we will get uh, maximum energy produced by the i set up. <coughs> so after, uh, at, yeah, after completing every iteration, that is uh, the, until that is your iter iterating until n becomes uh, 1. Okay, if n is not equal to 1 means you will continue, otherwise uh, you will come out of the loop. After completing the first iteration, just, just check, uh, find the minimum element at the very pass. For example, initially you have selected minimum element in the array, you know, which is multiplied by uh, element, uh, so any element which is available in the array, you will get some result which is stored in the array. Uh, this array uh, size will be minimized by 1 because we have multiplied two values which, which is itself which gives some results now which is again stored in the same array itself. Initially n elements is possible means you will get the n minus element after completing the first array and n minus two elements after completing the second iteration. Cut every iteration we need to we are in a position to identify the minimum element in the array. So that is why after completing the first iteration just to find the minimum element in the array and which is multiplied by the uh, uh, element which is available in the array. So the total energy is stored in this variable. Okay, the next problem cross to fetch. Okay. So I read the problem statement. During a fire, Sivani gets separated from her parents. 
night has fallen and it is dark already the spirits have started appearing and she has been trapped in a net fridge she needs to cross the fridge to return home safely initially she has at at the start of the fridge uh, there is enter zero with the initial system zero on the fridge there are uh, a total number of uh, fridge uh, from which appears in the order of one to one both is good and bad ones each spirit has a uh, parameter strength as of it when uh, she comes in contact with good spirit it increases strength by yes of i okay yes of i greater than yes of i greater than equal to zero while bad one decreases yes of i but it decreases by yes yes of i not by yes of i there is yes of i less than zero being a uh, skeptical about our safety her master they do and already granted a very special power called reverse effect which can be used at most one by using this power on a spirit it can change a bad spirit to a good spirit and vice versa probably a spirit having a initial strength is of it will have a strength minus is of it after the application of special power on it note that she can use this special power on the right spirit on the spirit before spirit shows their impotent strength if at any position her strength becomes negative she dies in some way as she quite intelligent she will use the power provided by the where her must smartly if she is able to reach home safely print she she did it without course otherwise print the maximum position up to the up to which she could reach a position which is right due to the effect of spirits please find find it first my god is praying for your safety not the reverse effect the special power subject to the spread on the screen the spirit Input format. The first line of the input contains a single entry with identical number of test cases. For each test case, there are two lines. And the first line will contain a single integer n, denoting the number of spirits. The second line will contain n space separate integers, denoting the strength of the spirits. So here the constraint t t is range from one to ten to the five, n is range from one to ten to the five, and s is range from minus ten to the five to ten to the five. The output, the sum of uh, n overall test cases will be less than equal to ten power six. For each test case, for each single line, generate the answer to the problem. This will give you the number of test cases and the size of an array and the array elements. Number of test, number of uh, size of an array, array elements. Size of an array, array elements. For the first test case, uh, output will be two because uh, always you are getting negative value, you no? Know? So. See here, 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 First, we have we have to determine the maximum position up to which Vani can reach without any using power power. Okay, we have to determine maximum position up to which Vani can reach without using any power power power. Now we know that uh, if she wanted to use power for certain means, now then she could use use it up on any spirit encountered this position. So essentially, she will pick the spirit having maximum negative strength. Okay, she will pick the spirit having the mag maximum negative strength and apply the special power on it. Many people just apply the special power on the last encounter spirit, so which cannot be to the spirit. So we have to pick the spirit having the maximum negative strength. Okay. So here okay, this is the uh, implementation. Here we need to include the header file and we have to set the maximum value, which is ten power nine. Okay, infinity. Okay, this is mainly used to find the mu element in the array. Okay, initially, uh, if you find the mu element in the uh, array, mean the initially it will it will set as uh, negative one, maximum value. That is one uh, ten to the power nine. So uh, just uh, if we decode t and y, t is mean for size the number of test cases, n is mean for number of uh, input, number of size the size of an array. Just uh, find a greater that is smallest amount to numbers by using min function. So 
So here uh, the argument is x and y. It x and y just return x. Otherwise, it returns y. This condition will never become true. So it returns y. Here inside the main function, just uh, read the input from the user. Okay, this is test case. For every test case, we need to get a size of a array. Initially set b equal to 0, s equal to 0, f equal to 0, and r equal to infinity. And is main, x is mean for uh, getting the array element from the user. Okay. So here uh, they are not getting the in terms of uh, array. We are just we are just getting the data in terms of x. For every input, uh, just check r is not equal to infinity. If r is not equal to infinity, means just to continue with the next iteration. If it's equal to infinity, means we can uh, able to identify the minimum element among this value. Here uh, we set uh, b equal to zero. Okay. So in the initially they, they have stand the zero, zero length. So just to keep. So initially the r is not uh, equal to infinity. So r is equal to infinity. So in this condition will work. Just uh, add uh, an x value input value to the x and find the minimum among b and x. Okay, here, here for a even input uh, minus two, minus one minus two here. Minus one minus two. Minus two. Uh, just uh, uh, sum with uh, sum sorry, sum with uh, yes, we will get minus one. Yes, you will minus one. Just find a minimum among uh, 0 and minus 1, we will get uh, minus 1. If s less than 0 means, this condition will never work. Okay, so if negative value is applied, you, you see negative value is 0 means, we can't use that. Okay. So, uh, in this iteration also, you will get the same negative value, with this condition never work. So, R becomes infinity only, this is the same thing. So, the R, uh, R, R equal to infinity condition will never work. So, it will go to this condition else, but the print R plus 1. Okay. So, if it, the input is not a negative value, for example, 1 minus 2, 3 means, uh, for the first iteration, it will identify s equal to okay. So you just find a minimum among b and x. b value is already 0 and the x value is 0. So the minimum value b equal to 0. If s less than 0 only, no, we, we are need to check in. If s not less than 0 means we can continue. It's for example, if s not less than 0 means this condition will be. This condition also never works. Just uh, check R equal to the CD net. Okay. Okay, me, I just identify the minimum value and check whether S, S become negative. If S become negative means there will be a problem. If that, at that time, just to check each condition if we have plus plus. If you initially you have a zero, so if of zero is uh, condition is false, so it will identify minimum of R comma. So here R equal to, for, the, for the first input minus one, R equal to infinity P equal to